If a diet out there was able to deliver on the promises of fast, safe, sustainable and simple weight loss, then believe me, dietitians would be right on it. With national obesity levels at an all-time high, we can safely say that our obesity crisis is in need of a quick fix solution. But weight loss, unfortunately, is not that easy. It involves a complex dance of calories, nutrition and psychology in proportions that vary for each and every one of us. So no single diet is going to work for everyone and some diets will work for no one. But that doesn't stop a vast array of diet cultures claiming they are the one. So in today's video, we will take a brief look at some of the more popular fad diets out there and we'll review what the fuss is all about. Hey guys, I'm Didi. I'm an Irish-based consultant dietitian, health writer and vlogger with ddtitian.com. I also spend some of my time offline working with some of you guys in person, so be it in one-to-one -one sessions to help you achieve your own healthy goals or in group workshops. On this channel, I post videos about healthy eating, healthy guts and healthy habits. Now, I am a big supporter of evidence-based nutrition info, so do expect the occasional research review thrown into the mix. But guys, I am here to answer your questions, be it via reply to your comment or through a video dedicated specifically to your very own particular question. So be sure to subscribe for new content every two weeks and comment below to introduce yourself because I can't wait to hear from you. So in my previous video, I looked at crash diet cultures as a whole, and I delved into more of the psychology of this yo-yo dieting phenomenon. So guys, in today's video, I will give you guys a quick overview of some of the many promised weight loss solutions that I see out there, and that I know of many of us have tried or are considering trying. So firstly, are there any weight loss supplements out there that actually work? And are they even safe? Well, the promise of weight loss without needing to change your diet or exercise levels is of course very tempting. So cute weight loss diet supplements. A huge variety of diet tablets and powders are out there with claims ranging from curbing your appetite to increasing your metabolism. Now worryingly, a recent study found that ingredients used in these supplements can be harmful to both our bodies and our minds. And although the supplements on sale in Irish shops tend to be regulated to a certain degree, many people are buying supplements over the internet these days, with no governing body able to safely regulate these. Several deaths have been reported due to the use of these unregulated weight loss supplements, as it can be incredibly hard to know if what is written on the bottle is actually what is in the bottle. Common side effects of even regulated supplements may range from stomach problems and diarrhea to psychiatric symptoms and heart problems. And many products may interact with your usual medications or affect your existing medical conditions. So it is strongly advised that you speak to your doctor, pharmacist and dietitian before trying a new diet weight loss supplement. And actually in my next video, I will review some of the nutritional supplements that dietitians do tend to recommend. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to get an alert when that next video comes out. Next, do very low calorie diet plans or VLCDs work? And would I recommend them? Well, many diet plans online promote calorie intakes of less than 800 calories. And of course, it's no wonder that people lose weight on a very low calorie diet. However, at calorie intakes this low, be prepared for a range of potential side effects, including nausea, diarrhea, fatigue, dizziness, lightheadedness, constipation, dry skin, just to name a few. As very low calorie diets may also bring about abnormal heart rhythms, it is best advised that a very low calorie diet is carried out under medical supervision. Now, I have used very low calorie diets before with my clients who have struggled to lose weight, but who needed to lose weight rapidly for medical reasons. However, when I bring my clients through a very low calorie diet, I often use meal replacements, fortified with protein and all the vitamins and minerals that they need. And as well as that, I would have worked closely alongside their doctor, so their GP, recommending regular health checks. And I also make sure that after a set period of time on a very low calorie diet, I would gradually reintroduce normal meals into the meal plans for these clients. And together we would have then worked on building healthy and maybe more balanced lifestyle and dietary habits back into their day to help them sustain their weight loss results. With so many variables being involved in this type of diet and with such intensive dietetic and medical care required, I certainly do not recommend a very low calorie diet for everyone. And I strongly advise against trying one without dietetic guidance. Next, what is the evidence behind detox diet plan? Now, detox diets are short-term diets that claim to help you get rid of toxins through a variety of diet and supplement strategies. Often, elements of these diets include drinking large amounts of water, eating plenty of fruits and vegetables, and possibly switching meals for vegetable juices or shakes. Now, while most detox diets do result in weight loss, reduced headaches, 
and reduced bloating. This is usually because of a reduced calorie intake, caffeine intake, a lower intake of high fat sugary foods and an improved hydration status. Now the results can be replicated and often sustained through a much more balanced dietary approach. And while following a detox diet for less than a week may be a great way to kickstart some healthy habits such as eating more veg, drinking more water, following this restrictive diet for longer than the week can put you at risk of chronic fatigue, nutritional deficiencies and brittle bone disease. I have actually written a more thorough and detailed article on detox diets on my website www.ddtition.com and you can find the link for that article in the description box below. Next, does a low carb diet work for weight loss? Now low carb diets have been around for decades guys. What started with the Atkins diet a few decades ago has now grown into the more popular but often misunderstood ketogenic diet which was originally designed for the treatment of epilepsy by the way. Low carb diets often involve reducing your intake of all types of carbs, from refined carbs to complex carbs, with the claims that a diet higher in fat and protein will promote the burning of the body's fat stores. However, studies have shown that over a 12 month period, there is very little difference between low carb and a general lower calorie diet when it comes to weight loss, suggesting that it is potentially again a calorie restriction that comes with cutting out carbs that has the weight reducing effect. Now be aware as well that low carb diets can have a range of uncomfortable side effects such as nausea, bloating, headaches, bad breath and fatigue and should be carried out only under medical supervision. So next, what is the hype around high protein diets for weight loss all about? Now the number of high protein products in our supermarket shelves have increased by almost 500% over the past seven years. Yes, even the popular chocolate bars now have their high protein versions if you've noticed. The definition of a high protein diet is where protein makes up over 20% of your daily energy intake. And while it is important to include some protein with every meal, it is very rare to find a healthy person who is missing out on enough protein. Now, unless calories are reduced on a high protein diet, you will not see weight loss results, okay? So yes, do include protein as part of a healthy balanced diet. But as any weight loss diet, you should focus on small calorie deficits to achieve weight loss rather than an increase in just protein. And finally, is there a benefit in trying a fasting diet for weight loss? Now, fasting diets range from diets where you fast for several days of the week, such as, I don't know if you've heard the 5-2 diet, to diets where you try not to eat between a certain time of the day, so for example, in the evening to a time in the morning. And to be honest, deciding to fast from say seven in the evening to seven in the morning may be a useful way to help you restrict your late night snacking and help you fall asleep with a more rested tummy. However, for the average active person, a full day or more of fasting every week may bring about its challenges, okay? So from lightheadedness to fatigue and reduced productivity and work, it may simply not be practical to fast for more than a day at a time. And again, it is likely the calorie deficit that leads to the weight loss in this diet rather than the actual benefits of prolonged fasting periods. So why do fad and crash diets remain so popular? Well, with a range of celebrity promoters and a select few followers with a great social media presence, as well as some initial weight loss results, of course, that you do see when you start this diet, it is so easy to fall for the fad diet trap. However, from a dietitian's perspective, a diet will only make the healthy eating cut if it can show sustainable weight loss over an extended period of time without posing a risk to our health. And as we discussed in our previous video, the yo-yoing and fad dieting cycle often leaves us with more guilt and weight than when we first started on our fad dieting journey. The Irish Food Pyramid and our healthy eating guidelines are designed to promote healthy eating habits and if followed will likely lead to sustainable weight loss results over time. Other diets that have proved their worth over time include the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet, both of which may assist with weight loss and have shown fantastic results in reducing cardiovascular risk. So guys, just start small. Start with some small healthy diet and lifestyle habits. Set clear goals for yourself every week. Monitor your progress and reward your achievements with non-food rewards, of course. And you're well on your way to a healthier and more sustainable weight loss journey. Now remember guys, in my next video, I will be reviewing the role of dietary supplements in our diets. And I often get asked if there's any vitamins or mineral supplements that I would recommend for you guys to take. So stay tuned to hear my perspective on that topic. Now be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button on my channel page to get notified when that next video comes out. And let me know in the comment section below if you have tried any fad diets yourself, because I'm always interested to hear your take on this topic. 
I hope to catch you guys on my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter pages again, of course, where I'll keep the conversation going until my next video. So I'll see you then. Bye.